Uh, Glenn, has it happened? Well, all I can say is welcome to Pillow Fight Club. Now, the first rule of Pillow Fight Club that you must know is tell everyone about Pillow Fight Club. The second rule of Pillow Fight Club is tell everyone about Pillow Fight Club. It all started at about 5.30 this evening, uh, just outside St Paul's Cathedral. Everything looked normal, and then suddenly there were some people milling about, looking a little bit suspicious in the shadow of the cathedral. Everybody else going about their business, but then there were these people with their big plastic bags, some of them with pillows brazenly showing. Even the police could see them, but they weren't doing anything at the time. And then it got up to 5.40 p.m., and when 5.40 struck, suddenly everything went completely crazy. Hundreds of people. I, I've never seen that many people in this kind of flash mob situation. I mean, we've had a lot of flash mobs in London, but this, you can see, was entirely wild. Everybody mixing with each other. You had city gents hitting students on the head, crusties, old people, young people, everybody. They were all there and all having a very strangely fun time. And then when they got bored of that, they started ripping up the pillows and feathers went everywhere. <laughs> so as you can see, this mayhem went on for quite some time. And there wasn't really any particular point to it. The idea was just to have fun, apparently. No political statement, just celebrating the fact that they can all speak to each other through text, through emails, people who don't know each other, having a lot of fun together and saying, oh, right, we're just going to go crazy in next to St Paul's Cathedral for no reason whatsoever. Back to you.